I've been watching these berries and they're finally yeah. getting ripe. Mm. 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 So good, there's bazillions of them. <laughs> Black smile. <laughs> So it's Thursday, August 31st in the evening, and Petronella is out of the water for the winter, looking kind of sad and forlorn without her masts, but uh, we got to do some work on the masts this year, and plus uh, they take the masts down on pretty much every boat, see this one also missing, uh, I think because of the winds, they get some hysterically large and vicious winds here in the winter. Uh, so they don't want the boats, boats to blow over. So we have a bunch of jobs to do this week, the next week or so. Uh, then we're leaving on the 10th, I believe, uh, or the 11th, next Monday anyway. So we have uh, a little bit, a bit, a little bit more than a week, maybe nine or ten days, to finish up all of our jobs, and that kind of depends on the weather. So uh, there are some tents over here. I'm hoping to be able to get permission to set up like a little workbench in there so we can do some varnishing and painting and stuff like that uh, of the small bits that just need to be varnished and painted and whatever else needs to be done with them cleaned maybe. So picking up where I left off, yes, we got permission to use that tent over there. Set up a little workbench so we can do some varnishing and that kind of stuff so that's gonna make a big difference so here we are in a in the only pub in Artford and the peak of Scottish cuisine the chips mm. so it is September 4th 2023 and we are in Ardfern Scotland hauled out and uh, for this last few days, or the week really, we've had the most beautiful weather we've had in Scotland. Sunny skies, clear nights, uh, no wind really, but uh, perfect weather for working on the boat. Just hope it lasts for a few more days because tomorrow we start painting. Uh, basically we've been doing prep for the last week or so, getting everything of the mast down and everything taken apart and off the deck so we have access to the deck to paint. Got a few little rust spots to take care of like normal. Actually, not like normal. Usually we have a lot more. But this year, uh, the crop of rust is fairly small. We got this little spot underneath the windlass. In that tent there, we were kind of borrowing a little spot for a table in there. Helene's been doing a lot of varnishing for our door aid boxes and the tiller and a couple of other little things that we have varnish on. And uh, there's a bunch of nice boats in here, including this uh, pilot cutter here, gaff rig pilot cutter. Really nice boat. Somebody, uh, the guy, the owner built it. Seems like a lot of work. It must have been a 10 year project. But it came out very beautifully. This is our view. Sep today is September 6th. So Wednesday. It's a sunset. This is our view from Petronala. We are on the hard. I don't know if you can hear. Oh, listen. Now you know we're in Scotland. And we'll be back. It is Saturday, uh, September 9th, I think it is. And uh, we're still in Scotland. Helene is back there working. 
And uh, mainly we've been working for the last uh, week and a half, two weeks, so not much time for filming and not very interesting to watch anyway. Uh, but uh, we're getting into our last days and doing the last few things on our project list, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of insight into uh, the cruising life, so to speak, which we always say is uh, fixing things in exotic places, and this is certainly an exotic place. So here's our sea tiger windlass, and um, you can see I had to take it off the deck there, so all I can paint underneath it. It's, you know, on these standoffs above the deck. Uh, because you can't really get into it every year without going through all this hassle of taking it off. Paint gradually breaks down. Anyway, it got bad enough so that we wanted to get to it uh, this year, so we took it off and uh, got a little rust out. We primed it a couple times with our two part paint. The paint was looking pretty good now. So, after uh, some patient cleaning and uh, screwing and bolting things in, it is finally back together again and all painted up and nice, ready for next year. What you're about to see here, it's not a movie. It's real life shepherd and sheep gathering. Some there, some there, some there, and I saw a shepherd, he went all over this island with his sheepdog, collecting sheep. They're coming from everywhere. Some more coming. There's his doggy in the back. called gambling. They're gambling. We, our theory is that there's that this island is connected to the boat yard and the mainland basically by this narrow strip of mud and rocks at low tide. So maybe they're gonna go across there. We don't really know. Maybe he just wants to count them. Meanwhile, the boat yard is very quiet on a Sunday morning. We're done with most of our chores. We're just going to pack. And then there's like a hotel or a pub here that has rooms. So we're going to go there for tomorrow, tonight. And then tomorrow we're heading to Edinburgh. I think we're about to see some action. comes the dog. Wait. 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 Oh, he's gonna get help. Another one. I guess he was called back. He's still in training. This is a very serious business. I don't know, these sheep look very well trained to me. <laughs> oh, they're gonna cross. 
You know the dog is just sitting there. Isn't that what fascinating? Oh no. It's funny how they lay down. And they crawl. So it is, what's the date? 11th, September 11th. September 11th, Monday. And we are on our way. All our chores are done. Our to-do list is empty. Let's see if we can spot Petronella. There she is. That's her winter home in Artfern. Very nice marina. Very helpful people. And a cool place. And we are on our way to Edinburgh. Gonna spend a couple days there, have some fun, have a little mini vacation. You might think we've been on vacation for the whole summer, but no, actually, this is our... <laughs> you can't really call it a vacation when you're working all the time. So uh, we're off for a little mini vacation in Edinburgh. On the train to Glasgow. Sounds like a dream.